Okay. <coughs> Hello. Right, it's recording, I think. Um, Who are you talking to? Um, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. I'm doing, like, I'm trying to see what video is like if I just put it on the tripod. I was like, um, are you going crazy? <laughs> yes, I am going crazy. It's really good. Like, the way the focus stays on a face in the frame, it's just... Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the camera still. Ah. Oh. Oh, are, you, are you starting a vlog? I could do, couldn't I? What would my vlog be about? Moaning. Yes, I could moan about stuff that I don't want to uh, do anything about. I could be like Rob Brydon. You know where he sat in his car? I don't know who that is. And he's like, uh, oh, he's Rob Brydon. He's like the dad in Gavin and Stacey. And he, he's Welsh and he just moans about stuff. So I can moan about like, right, so mortgages, they're difficult. <laughs> it turns out that if you're not British, you're not English, which pretty much is, well, most of the other, I guess, you understand why people in the US don't really have to be in the country, but it's even better. But that's pretty much many other things in the country. Anyway, what am I doing on here? I don't know. Uh, you can't even see the screen anyway. Or at least not much of it. Maybe I need to move the camera. But then you'll be kind of looking over the shoulder. Let's have a look. I can move it. I can put the camera. I can move it to there. And oh, it's not really any better, is it? I need like a wider angle lens. I put it here. And move it down. I don't know why having a computer screen is handy. Right. Kind of cuts the top of my head off now. <clears throat> so this is what I've been playing with loads recently. EOS M, which I can bring closer, a bit further. So this is the EOS M, pretty not very well regarded mirrorless camera, um, but get round the issues by putting on a really gorgeous manual focus lens. In this case, this is a Canon um, FD lens, so it's an old manual film camera lens, uh, f1.4, 50mm, and it's, it's gorgeous. The results from it are, are absolutely superb. It's got um, really, really wide aperture, so you can get some really nice um, low light scenes. It's got this really nice damped manual focus ring which has got proper hard end stop at infinity which is really important for um, for manual if you're just trying to kind of shoot quickly and you you see something in the distance and you you know you're at a high enough aperture that you can just uh, you can just clonk it on infinity and maybe even just dial it back a bit and just instinctively kind of start to know where stuff is on the dial so yeah nice nice bit of glass that it's um like I say, the camera's the camera's all right. I mean, it's it's good. It's an EOS. It's got a nice enough sensor, but it just sucks at things like quick autofocus, or um, well, actually, that's mainly what it sucks at, and battery life. But um, I always take a few spare batteries with me. They're quite cheap, so you just load up. Um, so yeah, this has become my my go-to camera now. I mean, the 70D is kind of relegated to the shelf more often than not because this and a collection of lenses um, is a load smaller and, and B just, just produces some fantastic images. The other lens I really like is, is this one. Now this was this was a wedding present from my wife or from my well actually yeah she was my like wife to be for about how how long before we got married did you get me this? A week or something? Yeah. Well, the whole idea was that I wasn't going to get it beforehand. No, no, no. Um, and uh, I was about to buy um, the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter for the. Uh, well, I, actually, at the time, I didn't even have the 70D, so I was going to buy it for the for the 400D, which would have been even sillier. Uh, and that's 4.5 to 5.6 aperture lens. But this, this is 12 millimeter. So it's quite a wide angle, you can see the kind of funky um, 
funky circular front element there if we ever get focus. Come on, 70D. Yeah, you nearly had it there. There we go. Um, and um, this this is just such a great lens. It's so it's um it's it's f2. Where are we? Come on. F2 somewhere there. There's an aperture ring. There we go. F2. And um, it's it just produces some really really cool kind of uh, nicely framed stuff. And and the colours are great. The um, sharpness is is fantastic. It's it's a really really good lens. It's Samyang. And again, this is a um, manual focus as well, and it's got this really great, even more damped, even more solid feeling focus ring. The only thing I would say about this one is that um, it's not got a hard infinity stop, so it took me a little while to figure out, and apparently this is just a normal thing. Again, come on, focus. I'm just going to do the thing where you touch the screen, and it makes no difference at all. I think I'm past the minimum focus distance. Anyway, on the... Um, Hard on the stop. The hard stop is is here. That's beyond infinity. So infinity is actually back a bit where that uh, where that line is, which is can be annoying because sometimes I've I've just clonked it on the stop um, and um, and taken a picture. But if you're at you know f4 or above, it's usually okay. Or f8 if it's in you know daylight. But um, nighttime scenes again, really good, really uh, really phenomenal. And the other lens, the final lens. It's kind of a classic for the EOS M, which I'll just, um, as, as an aside, this is, so this is the FD lens, and it's, um, uses this adapter, so you've got this, this ring adapter, which is, it literally just, um, fits the FD onto the EOS M, it's got this little, little peg, um, if you can see that there, there's a little peg inside it, um, that does the aperture, there it is, um, that does the, um, yeah, it does the aperture sort of uh, opening. So you've got this kind of control on the top uh, where it tells you lock or open. I really must get some way of manually focusing this this better. Let's see if I can... Right, let's touch the screen. Come on then, let's get some focus. It's supposed to be good, this camera. There we go. So you've got this lock and open thing and that. That just um, pushes on some of the some of the levers on the back of here which then um, allows the um, the aperture to be stopped down. So it's designed to be stopped down kind of instantaneously when the shutter's pressed. But because we're on digital and we're on live view, we don't care. We can just leave the aperture on on whatever setting that we're going to be on to, um, to compose the shot. So the final lens on the uh, EOS M, I'll just take this off. And drop them is is this one the little diddy 22 mil focus come on move away no it's decided that my shirt sleeve is going to be the focus point well I will get better at this right let's have a look here we go right 22 mil tiny little lens pancake really good again f2 um, and it, it just makes makes the M really small and, and like pocketable. It's tiny, um, but it's a really great lens. It's it's really sharp. It's got a really pleasing um, kind of frame, really pleasing um, focal length, and um, yeah, it's it's tiny and it's um, it's really high performance and it's it's STM. So it um, it, it kind of focus performance is marginal, but that's about as good as we're going to get, but no, it's all right. I mean, it, it auto focuses fairly well. It's pretty accurate. I mean, that's one thing I will say about you know live view contrast auto is that it's always accurate. Even well, like once it gets focus, even if it doesn't always get it very quickly. I mean, I was trying to shoot a picture of some uh, clouds, really interesting clouds, um, from a, a, a moving car um, the other week. And it just would not lock. And I tried the other two lenses, and I couldn't quite get the framing I wanted. So I wanted to use this, but it just hunted in and out and in and out, and I, I just never ended up getting the shot, which was frustrating. But then, you know, put the the 12 mil on and, and straight away, just go to infinity and and take the picture. But yeah, I like it. It's it's doing the job. 
and it's it's good for sort of traveling around and putting in your pocket. So travel to Stockholm and Copenhagen over the winter. I had this in, in one pocket and the other two lenses in the other pocket most of the time. Made for a bit of a bulky coat, but um, yeah, it was, it was great. I could never have done that with, with anything else.